Hi, I'm Dr. Gabby Cora and welcome to my show, Dr. Gabby's Take, Make Life Interesting. Now, Anna was in and out of consciousness so for a while. So after the stroke, she was totally gone mentally. I mean, she was awake. How long? Four months. Okay. For four months, she was like an advanced state Alzheimer patient. And, and those are the months that you're like, I have no recollection I of these no months. No Do you remember anything at all? No. No. The only thing I remember is because... He told you. He told me. But not because you remember. Not because I remember. Yeah. Really. Now after, after what do you remember of those three or four months? How much tape do you have in there? <laughs> I remember. Uh, what happened? What was happening? So you well, saw, I mean, you know, Anna's in and out, but, but you, you see she's more out than in. She was, so, here, where, um, after the stroke, that's when I was told, listen, you know, what she has is so aggressive. It's all over her body. You're not going to stop this or, 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 or cure this or whatever with conventional medication, non-conventional, whatever you do, it's, it's too advanced, it's too widespread, uh, and on top of that, she wasn't responding mentally. I mean, she was awake and stuff, but she was asking me, you know, where, where are the two sets of black twins that we have? And so that's how gone she was mentally. So you were like, okay. Yeah, I mean, some, I mean, that one sounds even funny, you know, two sets of black twins, but when but a lot of the things that she would say were not exactly fun. And what kept you going through that time? So, so you knew that you know you you had the conventional diagnosis of what was going on. At the same time, you saw that she was not responding. She was not conscious. What kept you going? Uh, I've all my life I've been a extremely extreme positive thinker, um, and I basically said it's time to put your money where your mouth is, and uh, but fundamentally. I was, um, I was almost, it was all about not doing what I had to do so my kids would not be left without a mom. Uh, with all the uh, pain in the world, I would, I could accept the fact, you know, losing her. Uh, but I just couldn't stand, I just couldn't swallow the idea, it was like a watermelon going down sideways. Um, that our kids that were three, seven, and nine at the time would be left up. And, um, you know, you, you go through sleepless nights, you go through many things, you have all the peaks and valleys and, and everything, but the average was, you know, positive thinking. Obviously, there's, you go through the, oh, well, she's going to die, there's nothing, you know, you're crazy, what are you thinking? But then, you know, a few minutes later, you're like, okay, no, no, no we're, we're going we're to keep on fighting. But the truth is, I never knew what the result was going to be. I, I knew I could have some influence on the process, not too much. And you uh, could be there as you were. Yeah, but the, the main motivating factor was to not let down my kids. Um, I, um, I thought, well, if she does pass away, uh, our kids will keep growing and, and maturing. And each one of them, at one point in their lives, would look me in the eyes and ask me, Dad, when Mom was sick, did you really do everything you could? And I promised myself I would do whatever I had to do to never feel embarrassed if that question was ever thrown on my plate. Has he lived up to that? <laughs> and I mean, really, I can be, I mean, I'm well aware that uh, you know a relapse you know, can take her life in you know six months from now, or six years from now, or six decades from now. I don't know, but whatever it may be, um, I'm in peace with that. You know that mean, cruel guy we all have in our bathroom, right above the sink? When you wash your hands in the morning and brush your teeth, there's a really mean guy, or gal. <laughs> and uh, I can look myself in the mirror and, and get in peace that I've done what I believe is I could do. I mean, I really don't know if I could do anything else.